You like this track? I love it. I like Nara. racing this track. You've raced me on Nara track, I'm gonna smoke you. <laughs> dude, I'm not, hey, dude, Nara national champion. Every time I step on the floor, don't I'm gonna get you started, hey, bro. Hey, I got, I got medals. I got medals and I don't in, care in, what medals you have. Then I'll step in on the corner and be on the right foot in the Bro, apex. you can't talk, win unless you're in the front on Nara. No, you can't beat me unless you try. Come on, man. <laughs> unless you try. Of course, yeah. dude. What the no. f? That means that you don't try. That means that you don't. You, you, you took the joke what way the wrong. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, exactly. You get smoked. On Naira, don't, don't start. I'll Not get smoked, smoked on Naira. You will, you will get smoked on Naira. Actually, if I jump as many times as you, I would quit skating. Mm hmm. Yeah. Because that means what? I don't have good reaction. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good I mean, I mean, if you really okay. want to go, if you want to go statistics, we can really look at all the videos, and majority of the time, as you start, you jump. So, I mean. Damn, we're going there. I mean, you do, you really do, and we're, everybody we're knows. We're going to the start. That, Damn, that's how you know it's bad. No, nah, that's when you know it's bad. When you lost so many times, you're like. Fuck, what did he do? The one thing he do so well that everyone thinks he jumps. He No, it's actually a proven fact that you jump. Like, I mean, we can go and, uh, hey, you know what? We're gonna go in a picture, a picture and videos about how many times Brandon jumps. Just gotta let the hey, kids fight. You know Get your 100 lap warm up, Miguel. For real, go warm up, dude. <laughs> yeah, you just, you just the peanut guy. Oh, okay. Right? You're just the peanut guy. <laughs> <laughs> the peanut guy. <laughs> How you gonna feel when the old guy beats you? You get smoked in Naira too, that's why you wanna change it. <laughs> Superstars over hey, here tell rapping him, but can't tell skate. Him. Hey, hey guys, Dude, tell him, Naira. life still can't turn. Who, me? Yeah. Hey, that's Come because I, I didn't grow Let's up go. on an indoor floor. Come on, man, you were born on an indoor floor. <laughs> Try me. Dude, you can't even see me on any track. Outdoor, indoor. Hey, go. this is gonna be fun. Now, take the camera off me. I'm gonna tell you about changing pants on. Any year it. Huh? I'm coming. Okay, one more. Watch out, Henny. This is gonna kill you. Okay, goof. I'll listen to an artist, think they're dope, and then maybe I'm not there yet. I don't care what you're doing, someone wants to listen to it. Yeah. You could you could do Moe's country album tomorrow and we would find an audience if we looked hard enough. They know, but now what they, what they what's happening is this. There's so many people that do music, but now you have to separate yourself from them. In my videos and everything. We just have to figure out like where that passionate group of, of listeners is. And then from there, we're gonna keep adding on to that, adding on to that, adding on to that, and continue to well, build. So like, for instance, for, for me, I know that, like my whole mission was like, I wanna perform at these places, right? That was my first mission, and I did. What up? Uh, I know. Uh, Caddy. Yeah, dude, where's Mick? There you go. Uh, Ooh, it is toasty. Up and then we go back. Not this one, next one. Shit, I didn't bring a mask. I got, I got, uh...
I'm gonna post here for a second. Good, yeah, it's good. Um, we have to get we have to go to the factory at ten. Yeah, and then I'm thinking after we do that, we can do some of your video stuff oh, tomorrow, Friday. Friday. Yeah, because we have we, Saturday. We gotta beat too. the heat. That's like the trick is beating the heat. Oh, Are God. we skating? Tomorrow? Get there early. No, no, we don't skate till Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Blast it in the back. Oh my God. Bob, can you hear me? It's really loud in here. For Brandon? I can have this feel like they're mad. Two people, I want to hear me some talk. Yeah. Okay, we know yeah. where you are. But I use it with the people. I know, Andy Boyd. Love. Maybe 2000, it's like 2002. And you told me that beat was sick. You never heard of them. I know. Yeah, dude, you gotta fucking post them. I don't post beats because people steal them. It's on and on. It's on and on. I'm in my zone. You want it all? You want it all? Yeah. So make the call. So make the call. Yeah. I know the six. I know the six. Oh, you want it all, you want it all, yeah So make the call, so make the call, yeah I know the stakes, I know the stakes, yeah So pump the brakes, yeah. I've never been here before, no I still see you when I close my eyes We're just hanging out, we're bumping And uh, Mo puts on this new song And we have the LED lights going Like the red and the blue and all of that uh, Jordan grabs the camera and Mo breaks out into full fucking performance and me and Brandon were just watching the whole time like geeked out. I was it listening. Was so, no, you weren't. You were asleep. No, I wasn't because I was upstairs and you're like, man, you were the most entertaining person. Oh, you were, but I you were fucking... downstairs. You missed it, dude. It was awesome. Is that, was, that how you, that was like, the hits your throat? The drip hits your throat, you're like, hey! That was like the cool thing to do. It's like, what They're not with me. They caught you in camera. They're not with me. <laughs> Dropping shit. I didn't bring them. <laughs> These guys are about to be done. How big is the crew in here? How many people? Uh, we're running about five or six. Damn. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is cheap. It's cheap. That's not, that's not there. Oh, man. Well, it's not but I'm becoming an office expert now, too. Okay. Is Adi all right? Hello. Go ahead, yeah. Did you guys get coffee and everything? You guys are all right? Yeah, we're good. Okay. You guys are lucky. We're, we have barbecue today. Let me just say this. All this equipment that's in here was in California. So we moved it all. In Texas, you got to have your compressor set up differently. Then you have it in, in California. Don't show anything online until I get to look at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, big yeah. thing for me is to not show and chemicals. Proprietary. Well, you can even show, yeah, and proprietary too, yes. The formula. Yes, yeah, yeah. We'll go this way. 
Can I like do a joke and then look at the camera like in the office just yeah. once or twice? Like, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's, that's what he was saying earlier. Right, yeah. We take this material right here. Whoops, careful. This material right here, and it's we use about three or four different kinds of materials. And it comes in here, as pe it goes in here and start, it's melted, it's shot in there, and then about a minute later, I think there's a four cavity press, it opens up and it drops in a bucket. Is this two piece or one? No, just one, one piece. Oh. Ah, so how do you do that with our hub, since they're sonic welded? Two pieces, I'll show you that here yeah, in a minute. That's yeah, that's freaking Excuse crazy. Me. Excuse me. All right, so let's go over here. We can look at the uh, sonic weld machines. This is the incline core. Oh. Is it like a turbine? It's like a, it looks like a turbine, yeah. And it's got flex, that's, that's flex pattern. Yeah. So uh -huh. we just made these and it's the same thing. The two parts come together. This drops down and it just and vibrates it. It, it yeah. vibrates it and it melts it and then it melts together. And there's like drivers and stuff like that. Little extra pieces of, of TPU yeah. that come together and then it forms a part, so. Yeah. This cool. is like our assembly kind of area right here. Are these here. the uh, scooter wheels? These are scooter wheels, yeah. Oh, you guys use aluminum on the inside of them? Uh, no, they're all aluminum. It's, just, it's, it's, oh, it's, shit. it's, it's like the, the color. All right? scooter needs aluminum. Dude, yeah. that's fucking badass. Yeah, it's a beautiful wheel though, right? So this is the base, and then we put the top on it right here. Okay. Um, and uh, so this is really a four-piece tool. It's, this part, this part is separate. Okay. And you got a top to make the top, the, the top form. Yeah. And then you got to put a, what's called a back pin in there. It's something like this, goes in and sits on the wheel. It's weight. Yep. So the core doesn't pop up, like this. Okay. And uh, so it's a four-piece mold. Wow. So that's why you can get a little. Did I take this from here? Yeah. How long does that part last? It'll last for about a million shots. Oh wow. Okay. The tool set itself, about a million parts. Yes. Yeah. Damn. I'm not expecting the factory to be this full. I know. Like when we came here and you were telling me where the machines yeah. were, yeah. I couldn't picture, I, I thought you were gonna have like, I know, a shit ton of space. Look at that. So this is Jerry's, and he's only been doing this for a couple months, but he's become very good at it. Yeah, oh, this is for the, the, uh, the urethane. The urethane, yeah. So I'll show you where this goes. And he's gotta move all these drums around. It's a beastly job, but he's done a great job. When he's here, when do Jerry's make, here, he does a great job. Do we make life job. easier leaving it natural? Um, it's easier, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we don't have to do this, but yeah. you know. Comes out that fast? Yes. Going around. Oh. Yeah. That's why we're that's why we're kind of the best, right? Neil built these machines. Nobody else has a machine like this. No Dude. one. These are custom machines. So the good thing is, is they're custom, and Neil can dial it in. The bad thing is, is if it breaks, it's custom, and no one knows how to fix it. So that's the bad part. <laughs> Wheels come out and they kind of are staged all around here. So this machine is Neil's seventh iteration. This is his eighth iteration. So this one we've had since the beginning and they made the original Healy wheels. Remember the Healy? So my oh, business yeah. partner, he actually is the one that showed them how to actually make that a viable product. And they had the production before I got there and before we were Ann, and they ran them all on this machine the right here. They're small too. They're small. But you gotta, they gotta be able to withstand as well as be like hard enough. Yeah, and they moved it over to China, I mean, you know. Yeah. But then, in, so then we, in about 2012, uh, the longboard business was so good, we had to build another machine because we had a couple big accounts, Sector 9 being one of them, and we, ha we had to take care of them. And so, we built this machine for that, and uh, I'm glad we got the two machines. Yeah. It, it, it forced us to do it, and I'm glad we did it. Yeah. So, but it's the eighth iteration, so we got some improvements, hopefully, then, that we didn't have over here. So. Yeah, these wheels right here are the 100 millimeter NSC wheels, the Bigfoot wheels. Um, they're at the final stages of processing. We're gonna be washing them here. There's a bunch of release on them here. Once they go from here, they're gonna, we're gonna go print them and we're gonna go look at printing here in a minute. Dude, the bounce. The bounce. Nice, huh? That's good. Yeah, dude. I know we're still. Yeah. 
right, so we're printing the Bigfoot wheels now. Um, these are the 110s. Um, it's a fairly uh, complicated printing process. Uh, first, we print the outside of the wheel. You can yeah. see kind of right here. And then second, we got to come back, clean off the core, and then go back and print the core. The core's got, how many colors is it on the core? Uh, four. Four colors on the core. And so you can see each head coming down, that's yeah. another color. Wow. Right, so you've got the red, whatever is red in the image is uh, printed. Then the next head puts the white, next head puts the black, and the next head puts the whatever it is, whatever the fourth yeah. color is. Oh. Comes back here, picks up the ink, Damn. puts it down, picks it up, pops it down. Yeah. All right. So, Miguel, we, we do a lot of talking, but sometimes we don't get up on the whiteboard. And I think today it would be exciting to, to maybe try to see kind of how you and I work together. And then out of this, hopefully we can kind of come to a resolution, you yeah, know, I where we basic three part racing wheel. The red shows you the insert. Here's the tire wrapped around it. And here is the, the wheel structure. The bearings sit down under here. And then I've kind of used this all the way across. Yeah. Are you with me? So. We're not gonna to get too deep into all this movement, but obviously it's very important that there's structure and then there's tire movement. And that's the subtleties of what you guys do in the corner. So what do you think was happening, Miguel, in, in, in some of the older style stuff? Why, why do you think some, and we'll get to it over here, but why do you think this was letting you down a little bit in some of the, the performance levels? Yeah, it's so hard trying to, to, to figure that out, right? Because what we're essentially doing is saying, hey, Here's what it feels like. This is what we want it to feel like. How do we get it to feel like that? And I think a lot of our challenges before was that we didn't have a stable enough hub to support the corners, right? So we were getting, there's some definitely some benefits of having a hub that flexes, but yeah. the downside of a hub that flexes is when you turn very sharply, the wheel tends to bark, right? And so, right. you know, going right. from a single piece hub to a sonic welded hub, I think solved uh, a lot of our give you like uh, more issues. structure uh, yeah more structure because when if i put that into terms i, I want to be careful of the wheel doing too much of this see that yeah. it's like if you get the whole wheel moving mm -hmm. then you get some of that bark because this distance is kind of what builds some of those nasty harmonics so you yeah. want to cut down on the distance and you really want more structure down in here and let the tire do the job does that yeah. make sense the yeah. tire should be doing the job Get rid of that red piece in your mind and go back to the old days when I first started in the business. We only had the two components. Yeah. So we had to live with a certain urethane on top, and by and large, we ended up right around 88. Yeah. We couldn't get beyond that. Nobody really singularly invented the insert, guys. So let's be clear about that. Hyper had a soft insert. Lebeta had a soft insert in hockey. Many people were playing around. You know, the market moves by you guys, not by technologists out there writing a bunch of patents. Every time we change a surface area, um, the way that the corners are, yeah. you have to think about the wheel differently, right? And for indoors, sure. uh, you already have uh, a corner where you're putting so much G-force into it that if the hub moves in any way, the urethane doesn't get to do their part. Mm -hmm. So what we're looking Good to do to is have a really solid hub, but not so solid you get the vibration like you're talking about, right? So that you got that sonic welded two-piece hub. Yep. And then can we solve some of the grip problems with having a double urethane, right? And, and right. whether you wanna call that a banded wheel or a dual pour, whatever technology you wanna ask, you know, reference to that. You got two urethane pieces, and and now can we figure out the components of how hard, Ultimate how big, how shape? Yeah. Let's introduce the footprint here, and that really is kind of the king of 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 this. Maybe we'll the, ask the, one of the skaters the here what the, yeah, the what big footprint. Yeah, the big footprint. What is the <laughs> one of you guys it, it, get involved here to help us a little bit understand what the footprint means to you? The biggest thing for me as a sprinter and Mo as a sprinter was just getting the comfortability of just slamming into the corner. Because when we have a three lap race, when we're on a wheel like that and you know we, we changed the di dynamic on how we skated, it was so hard to just run from the gun and mm -hmm. try to hold the corner. But now with you know the bigger footprint, we're just able to slam and I think that's where we're gonna start seeing the times dropping again. Yeah, so so mainly when I think of the bigger footprint, I noticed that like before any other wheel I would probably skate on, 
Um, I'm, I feel like I'm skating on like, you know, ice blade, how you have to be right on top of the ice blade and then that's the least resistance. I felt like that was the footprint. It was like a little a little pin. Mm -hmm. And then now, you know, this new wheel, I feel like you you have more of, more, it's not even, it's not even super big, but it's big enough that like, if you think of a circle on each, if, on each wheel, if each wheel had like a circle point and you could see like four circles on one wheel, I think that that circle, that circle like on the top of a wheel, I think it's bigger, which is allowing you to be able to like, you know. So let's see if we can kind of put you on that understanding right here and that conformance right there, that movement is what we're talking about. That piece that I've got is that piece right there. Yeah. If you see those, those little features, here's another one I've highlighted, the uh, fifth component. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five features yeah, that are building that. So we got some bond and structure underneath, but what, what Miguel has selected here uniquely, really to indoor, was exactly how that footprint was generated from that insert. You know, yes. we took some, some, some new compounds too. Yeah. We put some new compounds together too, so. And I think that the challenge um, that we're really trying to get for you guys is that, you know, before any time you were on a banded wheel, there's that sweet spot. Yeah. And what sucks is that for a skater who's not a pro, mm -hmm. right. like finding that sweet spot's almost impossible. That's so true. as we expand this band, it allows us to expand the sweet spot. Now it's like having a better set of golf, not a better set of golf clubs, That's an a good easier one. set it of really golf clubs, it's right? It's like a larger space, yeah. I mean, Nicholas probably could, you know, take those old bladed things and knock. He hit a one iron, guys. Nobody even does that. So now they've got these cavity backs, and it's all very. It's that's yeah. actually a good model. So and and then the other aspect of too is as that footprint grows, this means that you're not having to focus so hard to stay in that sweet spot, which is going to allow you to get to the end of the race easier, right? So these are all things that we're thinking about. Now here's the scary part. Yeah. We don't know as we continue to expand the footprint if we're going to lose something in exchange. It's not you can't just have all good. All good does yeah, there's right there's an exchange for that. But so far these the these the changes so far have. Mm -hmm. I want to be able mm -hmm. to move anywhere on the wheel and feel the same, right? Mm -hmm. That's and maybe yeah, some of that's coming from look at look at where an outdoor wheel is, right? More of an asphalt design, and then as you stare at them this way, mm -hmm. notice there's more surface area on this one. Yeah, See them white. So I'm trying to signify that in these numbers for you, and we're not there yet, because yeah. that's a part of the structure. If I add all this willy-nilly, and I come over here, I gotta keep that structure in place, otherwise the whole thing starts moving, the footprint gets too big, and you guys get soggy and slow. Mm -hmm. Honestly, you guys, it's about getting something and giving something. The secret of it all is, is getting an 80% benefit with only a 20% cost. You're always gonna give something up. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's gonna be a skater that's still gonna love your old stuff. That's true. Right? You Absolutely. guys, you know, but as we get to this, we, we've talked a little bit about ease of skating and the footprint and the structure. Now we've gotta think about these mechanics. So this cross section coming right through here, their cross section, the old days, was all hub, hard hub. Then we broke it into two things so that we yeah. get a little bit more motion. We're still doing that so you can see these ears come up and that's right where we are. This, I think that white part right there, Miguel, is gonna have to get bigger. And then we gotta make sure this damn thing assembles too, you know, so that we can get that band over there. So that's yeah. prototype tooling right there. You're the only guy with that. And, uh, you know, we're trying to promote it, but when you have those two in your hands. So I think that it's okay to sacrifice some aspect of the role if that you can have less energy being used because of rebound but trying to find that balance between having a larger footprint, because I, as, grip as you get, roll, grip and roll, and roll right. right? So yep. the whole reason the, uh, our wheel is called the big foot is because we, we fundamentally believe in a larger footprint. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I think we, we've hit some really good highlights. Congratulations yeah. to such quick success. I'll say that again, it's rare. So you guys have been already, you know, kind of an exception to the rule. It takes sometimes years and years to get here. And it just depends on, you know, really the whole thing and just a touch of luck too. Yeah. It doesn't hurt, you know. Yeah, so luck does not hurt. <laughs> make some good, some good calls and, uh, you know, congratulations to that. And I'm excited to, you know, take some of your numbers and see you get into different tooling and spend yeah. some dollars to, to take the, you know, another and, another And then we'll go kill the outdoor world. Yeah, oh, dude, yeah. the outdoor world's over. We're taking over. <laughs> <laughs> I love the confidence. <laughs>
to be very honest, when we do a start, and um, I try to make it a thing sometimes, just just like they say go, and then I go, because I'm like a big guy on the line, so if I move a little bit, you're gonna see me before you see anybody else, you know? So I just try my best not to. I don't try to like anticipate it and be like, oh, I'm gonna jump and they're not gonna call me, because it's kind of interesting. Me personally, I just think that um, if, you're, if you're jumping all the time and we're professionals and you keep doing that and then you get away with it, it lets other kids think that you can get away with it and then they just have bad fundamentals. So, yeah. I'm not gonna say I haven't jumped before, but they call me, they call me on it, they call me on it every time. But for some reason, and you can check the videos, we can do a little picture in picture or something over here, but you can see this dude jumps every time. I'm talking like, he'll jump and then after a while they just get so tired of him that, that like, Brandon's gonna jump, which just don't even call it. This guy's still talking shit. Yeah. I'm talking about fundamentals. You wanna put money down? Put it on camera if you're gonna do it though. And last time I put my skates on was yesterday. Time before that was the last NSC. This guy's a coach. This guy's girlfriend's a world champion. Is this, is this your world tour or your girl's tour? Come on, man. Yeah, that was <laughs> so, skating is a lot about understanding and controlling your distance, especially when you're setting up passing. Have yeah, you ever been in a traffic jam before and you're right on top? If you have to wait for the car to move, you can't go until the car moves. If you were evenly spaced, as soon as the car goes, you can go, okay? So every time I skate in a pack or whatever, I want to give a little bit of distance. That way I can make decisions on my tag or if I'm racing Brandon who likes to jam when he throws a hard pass. If I give him distance, I don't get slammed on the jam, okay? And in NSC, we don't have a jam rope, okay? So that's one of those things where if the skaters want to jam, they can jam. We feel like if you're a pro skater and you can't figure out how to not run into the back of someone, that's a good point. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, go around. All right, so now here's the other thing. The best and easiest pass is an early pass. An early pass at a fast pace turns into a late pass automatically, okay? So I'm gonna do an example of Brandon. Go ahead and skate. Watch. Watch this. I'm gonna go when he gets in the apex. Are you guys doing derby? Look at his. Oh. So I tell all of uh, skaters when I'm when I'm coaching that if you look like a speed skater, I promise you, you'll actually go fast. Now, when we skate these straightaways, all I want to do is focus being low in skating position and then controlling our tempo as we keep our body stable. Okay. All right. So first is. When you're in skating position, the rule of thumb is you don't want more than like a hand fist difference from the top of your thigh and your stomach, okay? This is actually skating position. This is what I look like right now, right? So go ahead and let's get in skating position and let's, let's test it. Let's see where we're at, okay? Nice. We all look like speed skaters right now. Eddie, where did you guys go camping? Where? At Grandpa's house? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. That's a good answer. I'm, I'm gonna do it, I'll take it off. Do it and then like when the because the hook stop, I'm just gonna take it up, put it back on. So that way it shows like hey, I keep my mask on. So it kind of solidifies like hey, we have mask, you know. 
This shit's about to be tight. Dude, I know. This is a full operation. I know. Dude, I'm pretty juiced about this. Let's hope we don't get fucking kicked out. I know, I miss our sunlight. Get back on the ropes. Get back with the program. You already know how personal it is. You say you want smoke. You say for free, bro. You doing the most. You doing the most. You back on the ropes. Get back with the program. You already know I'm pressing the issue. You say you want smoke. You say for free, bro. You doing the most. Do you want a wider lens? Let's, I think we should get you on the 24, dude. So you can see like their whole bodies, you know? I got it. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna like be jumping around and he's gonna get. <laughs> what the fuck? Or Chris Brown. Yeah, or the, Chris, the Chris Brown movie, like, damn, this is good, dude. Alright, let's get it. Back on the ropes. You doing the most. Get back on the ropes. Get back with the program. You already know. I'm pressing the issue. You say you want smoke. This ain't for free, bro. You doing the most. You doing the most. You back on the ropes. Get back with the program. Already know, I'm pressing the issue. You say you want smoke, you say for free, bro. You doing the most. We got the boys. I don't know if y'all, I don't know if y'all understand about what NSC really is, but it has nothing to do with everything. If that makes sense. It's a little bit of everything. We got music, we got skates and skating and stuff, but also we have a lifestyle. I think that the biggest thing is to capture the lifestyle brand. And that's just me. Do you remember where that was? It's like it was this, 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 I swear, go, can you go left here? Yeah, yeah. yeah go left. And then, I got it, I got it, I got it. But I know, you still take a right at this light. I know where, I know where exactly where it was. So, <laughs> so, go, oh, it's right there. Yeah, go right here. I just right told here. you that. I said take a left and a right. Uh -huh. It should be, it should be right there. I'm not paying it's attention. It's on the left. It's good. Yeah. It's right, it's right there. there. Pull into the car. All right, so this, this shot, we nice. got to get the lights out. Get back on the ropes. Get back with the program. You already know. I'm pressing the issue. You say you want smoke. This ain't for free, bro. You doing the most. You doing the most. You back on the ropes. Get back with the program. You already know. I'm pressing the issue. You say you want smoke. This ain't for free, bro. You doing the most. Doing the Oh my god, that looks so good from his the top rack just rips off, dude. He's skating, look, he's skating the turns right now. This is good. I am hungry, dude. I'm zoning, I'm starving. I need some water. We need to eat I'd the like most. Sweat out. <laughs> I need to eat the most. <laughs> Eating the Where most. Where should we go? I don't know, let's fucking find some something Asian like food. yeah, let's get we some have sushi. An Asian, I feel like we have There's an Asian sushi? food been here. I'm down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just want to see the inside because
Damn. 100 degree weather. None of us remembered water. I got water, but this guy. I did. But we, ran get out the track. we ran out of time. And we go yeah. Some the people track. can't wake up. Huh? Some We're training. Like, some adults can't wake up. I'm trying up to be time. the best fitness skater in the world. Woke up. Honestly, this is uh, like one of the top performers. Welcome to NSC. Ever. If you don't know about this us, now you know. Bro. 